Welcome, everybody, to the Wholesaling Inc. podcast, America's number one podcast for new real estate investors, where we know without a doubt, with all certainty, that finding discounted properties is the most proven path to financial freedom. I am your host, Brent Daniels, Mr. TTP, and I am telling you, if I can do it, so can you. So let's get started. We're going to start with this thought. And it's an important thought. Okay. Okay. Truly successful people know that there's something more important than ROI or return on investment. It's R-O-L. Yeah. Return on life. ROI is what we get back from investing money. R-O-L is what we get back from investing in ourselves. Yes, that leads me to my guest here yes, in the Phoenix Arizona TTP Man. studio <laughs> from Memphis, Tennessee, yes, Mr. Blair Bass. Yes, How are you? I'm great. I'm excellent, man. I'm excited for you to be here. Yes, I'm blessed to be because, here. Because, I mean, you've gone through a lot, and we're going to go into yeah. your background. We're going to go into some of the successes that you have been having. Okay. But I think a lot of uh, your experience comes from outside of real estate, yeah. and you brought that into your real estate business, and it's really, it, it really is returning on those life skills. I mean, the, yeah. the skills that you've developed just growing up. So yeah. tell me about you, tell me about what's going on, okay. tell me about how you found real estate investing, and then how you found wholesaling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so basically, my mom was a teacher, my dad was an industrial engineer, mm -hmm. so school was always the end all. So uh, I went to college twice. I had my associates in hospitality management. Uh, in 2016, I got my bachelor's in hospitality management from the University of Southern Mississippi. Mm -hmm. um, I had plenty of job offers. My mom told me, you know, pick wisely because, you know, you don't want to be somewhere that you want to be stuck with for the rest of your life. Right. So I said, okay, uh, I don't know, mom. So what do you think I should do? Yeah. So she said, why don't you just come home? where I'm staying now to figure it out. So I found out through that time when I was staying with her, she was sick. She, mm. she had cancer and it went in remission. That's why I didn't go back to college. Mm -hmm. But once I graduated, I realized she was sicker than what she perceived it to be. So that's why she told me to come back to stay home with her, to take her to doctor's visits and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Come to find out she was sick. Cancer consumed her whole body January 4th. 2017, she passed away. So I had to figure it out. I was like ground zero, just mm -hmm. like, oh man. I had this plan, go to school, get a good job, take care of my mom, go to business with her because she was a cook. You know, she wanted to be her own business person, but you know, tragically she passed away. Sure. So I went through my depression, uh, figured it out. My, uh, went to Illinois with her. Then I moved back to Memphis, 2017, trying to figure it out. Came up on, a job just out of nowhere. Uh, a friend of mine told me, said, why don't you go to youth counseling? I mm -hmm. said, youth counseling, that's not anywhere near what I'm doing. So, but I needed a job. So I went to uh, a company called Youth Villages where you teach young men and women how to get back into the, the life sector of life. Uh, it's re residential treatment facility. Sure, so, yeah. So uh, children that have been dealing with runaways, uh, neglect, uh, adoption, foster homes, things of that nature. So mm -hmm. I was going through that path, trying to help as many people as I could, being a serviceman, using psychology sure. to mimic them, to mirror them, mm -hmm. understand what they're going through, see if I can help them in any kind of way. I've touched so many lives, but in the back of my mind, I have kids, uh, I have a wife. I know this job is not the end all, be all. So I found Wholesale real estate just out of nowhere. Uh, my wife's friend, she's a big wholesale real estate investor in Memphis, Tennessee. Kamitra really? Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. So she's pumping like no tomorrow. So I asked my wife about, do you know anything about wholesale real estate? She was like, no. I know she's doing pretty well. I said, well, let me just go ahead and take this class. Uh, it was a free course. She gave the ins and outs of wholesale real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, I can do this. You know, yeah. I've, I've done business. I know how to talk to people. I know how to be hospital, hospitable. Yeah. Uh, so I asked her, so what's the, what's the process? And she just broke down the process. I was like, let me try this. Let mm -hmm. me try this out. So I worked with her that 
September 22nd, 2018 is when I began my journey. Uh, I, we bought a list. Uh, it was in the high equity area. Mm -hmm. um, she just told me to mail out uh, a thousand postcards. I said, okay, let's do it. I, I told my wife, she was pregnant at the time. I, we're going to be rich. You know, it's going to be the, the next step to our, our generational wealth. She said, okay, I don't know. You know, I'm pregnant, so you're taking a risk. So it was $500. I put it in postcards. Mm -hmm. She was like, we don't have any food, though. But I was like, it's going to work. It's, I promise it's going to work. Yeah. I said, I'm still working, so it's something's going to work. Yeah. So, uh, Unfortunately, it didn't work. Right. I was calling, calling, calling. People were saying, no, no, you're crazy. Discounted properties, no, no. So um, you were calling the same lists that you were mailing? Mm -hmm. You were cold calling them? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, I told my wife, well, I, I spent this $500. You were just hand dialing? Like you literally were just putting yeah. their phone numbers in your phone and just calling? Yeah. I yeah. Google Voice. And this is after you get off work? Yeah. This is with small children in the house. Yeah, I had a this pregnant wife. This is with a pregnant wife. <laughs> yeah, a pregnant wife and a seven-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, so. So was it a situation that um, the job that you were in wasn't giving you enough income to where you wanted it to be and you guys were just kind of getting by? Or was it a situation where um, it was okay and you could live off it, but you just, you knew you wanted more? Or maybe both. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I wanted more because I wanted to fund my DJ business with that because ah. I'm a DJ. So I wanted to get out of that workforce to be able to fund my DJ career and then be able to have my wife, which is a personal chef, mm -hmm. to be able to her to function together. So a chef and a DJ, we can grow together. Yeah. Entrepreneur style. Sure. But it didn't work that way as far as the cold calling aspect. And she was like, okay, well, you spent this $500, so I need you to get a return on investment ASAP. Yeah. So I said, okay, this list didn't work. Did she talk to you in those terms? It's in a nice way. She says, I want a return on investment on this $500? Basically, What yeah. an incredible woman. That's <laughs> yeah, an incredible basically, woman, yeah. Basically, basically. Yeah. So she was pregnant at the time, so I have to take action. So. I'm YouTube University all day trying to figure it out wholesale real estate wholesale. Yep. Came across Max Maxwell. Yep. He had a 30 day challenge uh, to get your first deal. Right. So at this time, I had little to no money. Calling, drove, deal machine, driving in the city, mm -hmm. pinpointing distressed properties, uh, calling them, hand dialing. At this point, I'm losing money. Uh, my phone goes off. And then one day, he said, call local real estate and realtors yeah. to see if they have any off-market property. Right. I said, okay, I can do that. So mm -hmm. my phone went off that day, so I had to get a Google Voice, another Google Voice number. So I I called, called, called realtors. They said, no, we'll send you a list if we have any. Came across one property uh, that a realtor had, mm -hmm. and she said, well, it's not um, something that you may be interested in, but I'll let you look at it if you're open tomorrow. Yeah. I said, yeah, I, sure, let's let's do it. And yeah. she gave me the property information, and I reached out to a real estate investor that's a friend I went to high school with. He yeah. said, uh, if you have anything, just send it my way. I can probably close on it really fast. So I said, okay, I have a, I have a potential deal for you. Uh, are you open to, to check it out? He said, just send me the, the address. I said, okay, send him the address. He said, I'll be there tomorrow. So wait, so let's break this down. So how did this, how did you get a, how, what was your first conversation with this real estate agent? Like, why was this real estate agent sending you these off-market deals? Did you just call them up? Yeah, I just You saw them driving around or did you pull it up on, on Zillow? Did you pull it up on the internet? Like, how did you know to call that agent? Oh, I was just Googling. Okay. I was just Googling. What'd you Google? Uh, real estate agents, real estate uh Real estate companies. And were you looking, you just called anyone or were you looking for tops. ones that specifically worked with investors? I was just calling. Just I'm random. Just, just randomly calling. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. one of the, this is the craziest things, you know, because I talk about, you know, obviously TTP, people correlate that with 
cold calling yeah. owners of properties. And yeah. I totally understand that. And I, and I, and I think that I, it deserves that kind of like connection, yeah. but it also means just reaching out to all the people that could potentially be yeah. in your network to send you referrals. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be able to send you these off market. If, they, if they're like, hey, listen, you're my best cash buyer. Yeah. I'm a real estate agent. I'm gonna send you all these ugly houses yeah. because I get to keep the commission, yeah. right? Yeah. And you get this property and we can do this over and over and over again and yeah. I don't have to worry about you closing on it I don't have to worry about the deal getting done as long as you get the deal done right that's, that's the initial thing so guys if you're new to if you're new and you're starting out and you've never done a deal but you get a referral from somebody in your marketplace a real estate agent the number one most important thing is close that deal if you can't close it do not commit to it yeah right because yeah. if you commit to it and you close it you've lost that relationship forever but if yeah. you if you commit to that and and you close, man, they will bring you deal after deal after deal. And I'm telling you, it is like it is the equivalent. It's even better, but it's like the equivalent of reaching out to one property owner and they own like 50 houses that all need work yeah. and you get each and every one of them, right? Oh, man, you know, from yeah. one conversation, but you yeah. literally can build that up if you're working with real estate agents. Yeah. I can build yeah. That. So you just cold call her. Just cold call. And, and, and now she's sending you this opportunity. Yeah. You're playing middleman with your investor because yeah. your investor would never know about this deal yeah. unless you picked up the phone and connected there. Yeah. So you're going here, real estate agent, uh-huh. Yeah. Here, <laughs> investor, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> right? And together. Yeah. 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 So what happened? So uh, the next day, we went to the property. Uh, low on gas, made sure I got to the property on time. I was sitting there calling my real estate friend. Yeah. Uh, he said, I'll be there in 20 minutes. I had to go check out another property. So I went in, looked at the property, didn't know anything about what I was doing. Yeah. She said, well, this is the bathroom. This is this. This is that. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. She said, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for some time now. Just trying to, <laughs> yeah. just, just trying to build rapport with the seller. She's like, well, I'm, my mother is sick, so we're just trying to sell it. Uh, but... As an agent, I know I'm trying to get top dollar. I know I can't get top dollar, so right. I'm just going to sell it. I'm looking for 100000 mm. I said, okay. Uh, I didn't know anything about that, but I knew 100000 was way too high. Yeah. Uh, so my real estate investor friend came. He said, well, uh, let me talk to her. And he just basically was telling me everything that I need to know about property and sure. what to assess mm -hmm. and uh, what am I looking for if you find anything else. And we went outside. And he said, um, I like it. I like it. Uh, how much do you want to make off it? I said, 5000 He said, okay. All right, let's go back inside mm -hmm. and let me negotiate. Yeah. So they sat down in the kitchen table. And she said, well, I want 100000 And he said, well, I can't do 100000 because I have to break this wall. I have to do this, that, and the third. Yeah. Uh, this is the, I will be the end buyer myself. So I think 100000 is too high. Mm -hmm. So they went back and forth came to 80,000. Mm. So they signed the contract. She he showed him proof. Shoot, showed her proof of funds. Yeah. And it was And that was it. That was it. And he made your first five. Uh, no. He called me later on that day. He <laughs> said, "Well, unfortunately, I can't do the five cuz I had to go down." Yeah. Can you take three? I should have took the five, but you know, it's it was all right. my first time. It's a relationship yeah, though. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Yeah. You don't want to get too greedy with it. You know what I mean? There's something to be said there. It's not the extra two, that you couldn't use the extra 2000 or that you deserve the extra 2000, but if you're getting pushback from them, then you say, okay, well, listen, then you owe me on the next one. Yeah. All right. I better make this two grand up on the next one that I send you because yeah. you know, I'm going to be going out every single day yeah. and I'm going to be finding opportunities and I want to bring them to you, but I need to make sure that, that yeah. I can get paid on them as well. I mean, that's just, yeah. you know, that's just savvy business, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the conversation that you want to have and building yeah. that and building it and building it and building it. And then all of a sudden, when you get to the point when you have 50, 100, 200 real estate agents yeah. out there yeah. sending you opportunities and you're matching them up with all the investors, mm -hmm. life's good. Real life's good. good. And that just supplements your efforts going directly to the seller, yeah. right? Because you're going to get the biggest spreads going directly to the seller. That's true. But getting these referrals don't cost you anything. And it's a lot less effort than spending spending hours on the phone calling the distressed property owners, which eventually you ended up doing. Of course. Because you joined the TTP family. I did. I yeah. Did, I did. I did. So my journey with TP, TTP was a blessing. Uh, so uh, after that deal, I was trying to figure it out 
buying lists that I didn't know anything about, high equity, absentee, sending direct mail, still looking on YouTube University, trying to figure it out. Uh, lost a lot of money sure. in the process. Sure. Uh, came across Deal Machine. Mm -hmm. So I just used Deal Machine uh, to start all over. So I was driving around, uh, came across a property, hand dialed steel, mm -hmm. still didn't know anything about audio dial. Uh, landed another deal, 6K. Uh, another time, started JVM with another investor out of Memphis. Uh, well, we want to break down your biggest deal. Okay. So I want to break that because we have this bell ring okay. here. Let's okay. Do that. Let's so do is that, that where we're going? Uh, yeah, we're leading up to okay, that. Okay, keep so, going. Keep so going. we JV'd a couple of deals together. Uh, we parted ways. Explain JV to people that have no idea what you're talking about. Sure. Joint venture. A joint venture yep. with another investor. So we find a property. He finds a property. I find a buyer. Uh, we split the commission. We because the he doesn't have, he doesn't necessarily have the investors that you have. Right. So he can't make any money on this deal. It's not a deal to him no. until you match it up with a, with a ready, willing, and able cash buyer. Right. Right. And that's what you brought to him. Yeah. How did you build up your cash buyers? Uh... It was a tip off your uh, podcast. Yeah. So, uh, I, you mean the podcast you're on right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I Facebook uh, Facebook group. Uh, yep. Uh, search bar, cash buyers. Mm-hmm. All there. Yeah. Just put them in the database. Just kept going, kept going, kept going. Everyone I see, just kept going and adding every day. Yeah, and and there, there's a couple of great resources just to be able to pull cash buyers. One is Facebook, put it in there, just search for the fix and flip groups, real estate investing groups, and I highly suggest everybody reach out to the admins of those group, groups mm -hmm. because those people know everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Typically the admins have been in it a long time, they kind of know, they, they manage to make sure that people aren't spamming in there yeah. and, and causing friction and, and, and just, you know, kind of uh, keeping it clean in there so they have some authority and they know everybody so if you reach out to them you're getting you're you're connected to now thousands of investors right now they'll get paid for that sure. but they do they should they've, they've built up that network and that authority yeah. and so but there's several groups there in your market that that um, or, or several um, yeah, of those Facebook pages yeah. that, that uh, you can reach out to the different admins. And then also just type in real estate investor Memphis into LinkedIn and it's like, yep. it's like unbelievable amount of people that'll pop up and then you just start reaching out to them. So that's what you did. Yeah. You were yeah. just proactive, man. I had to, I had to. Right. Because you didn't have a huge, uh, you, you didn't have a huge bank account, a big wad of cash to throw at, you know, this business. You went out wow. and you, you, you traded your time and your skills yes. and your efforts yes. as opposed to having a big budget in the beginning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You don't really yeah. have to have a big, big budget. No. You just got to have a passion. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. So, um, so you, you're, you're doing these JV deals. You're using Deal Machine to build up your driving for dollars. By the way, everybody out there, Deal Machine, use coupon code TTP. It's the yes, biggest sir. discount you get for Deal Machine. Use a coupon code TTP, dealmachine.com. It's it's a driving for dollars. Have. It pulls yeah. up all the owner information. It lets you know if they live there, if it's vacant, mm -hmm. if it's a rental, what it is. It's really, uh, and they keep adding stuff to it. So yeah. anyway, um, let's break down a deal. Let's break down. Let's break down this deal. Yes, now this one is, well, let's talk about first, how did you have the first conversation with, is this direct to seller? Uh, this, this deal? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. direct to seller. So it was a Bandit Sign lead. Uh, my mentor told me, since you're driving for dollars, why don't you utilize Bandit Signs? Okay. And I'm like, uh, I see them all the time, but I don't really know too much about them. Uh, he was like, just try it out. If, if it doesn't work, you know, just don't take my advice anymore. Yeah. And we just laughed about it. He said, okay, I'll take it. So utilize his band and signs, put out two to 300 every weekend. Well, 50 every weekend, uh, came across a distressed owner. Uh, it came to his call rail number. Call rail is a business yeah. line. So uh, he said, just reach out. I'll reach out. I made the first initial contact. So you reach out again, see if she's motivated or not. Uh, I reached out. I gave her a number, may, may be in a little bit too high. At first, I called her back and said, well, can you do this? So she's driving. She sees a sign that you put out yep. with your mentor's phone number on it. Mm -hmm. All right. And you mentioned CallRail. So just to break that down, guys, CallRail.com, it's a way to get 
uh, different phone numbers so that you can use it for any marketing or for a caller ID when you're making your cold calls. Mm -hmm. It's a really great resource, so definitely check that out. It's pretty inexpensive and it's easy to set up. So they call in the call rail. Does it ring to you or to your mentor? Uh, we both we both can see it. So he made the first initial contact. It was ringless voicemail. Ah, so okay. he reached out first. It was on a Sunday. So he said, I don't do business on Sundays. Got so, it. So I'll follow up on Monday and you follow up the same way. Yeah. So I followed up, gave her a number. She said, well, I'm just kind of just trying to figure it out if I want to sell or not. And he said, uh, call her back. She mm -hmm. seems like she's motivated. Mm -hmm. So I called She her called back. on a bandit sign. Yeah. Something's going on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What did the bandit sign say? Uh, cash for houses. Cash yeah. for houses yeah. and phone number. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, incredible. It. Simple. I remember, I think you posted a picture in the group yeah. of you with a bunch of bandit signs. And I'm like, what is he doing with bandit signs? <laughs> yeah, like, man. like it's it's a reactive marketing, but it, it worked in this case. It you works. know, You put it out there, you planted the seed, you put your phone number out there or the, the call rail number, yeah. and somebody called. Yeah. 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 So who got a hold of her first? Uh, well, we both kind of built rapport. So okay. I, uh, by the end of it, he told me just, you know, assess the property. Uh, we had a big time investing company, uh, Memphis Invest came, uh, assessed the property as well mm -hmm. because they were the main buyers. The fix and flip buyer really yeah. didn't want to buy it at that price point. It was a little higher than most. Okay. Uh, so they assessed it. Uh, yeah. I told the, the seller that, you know, we'll follow back up to see if this is a good deal for us and uh, we'll see if we can help you out. Yeah. Yeah. Why did she want to sell? Uh, what was the motivation? So when we go through everything, right, yeah. we, we pre-qualify every lead. Okay. Condition of the property, timeline to sell, motivation, price. Yeah. So, uh, well, let's go to the condition. What was the condition of this property? It was in pretty good condition. It was pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Livable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It was mostly turnkey, possibly. Three bed, two bath, two bedroom, one bath. What was it? it? Was three, two. Okay. Three, three bedroom, two. two bath, clean. Mm -hmm. Um, did some minor renovations to it, to the bathroom. How fast did she want her money? Uh, pretty fast. She within thirty days. And why? Uh, they stayed on the main street, uh, and they have a. She had a small grandchild, mm -hmm. and she didn't want to risk that. And she just went through a divorce uh, about a year or two ago, mm -hmm. and so she was ready to get out of the house. See, here's the best part. When you go first, and this is for everybody out there listening and watching. If you are listening to this, you can definitely put a face to a voice at Brent Daniels' YouTube channel. Yes, uh, just check that out. But um, when you start, there's a reason I put it in that order. Condition, timeline, motivation, price. Because the condition is the easiest thing for them to tell us about, right? Yeah. People will talk, tell you how many bedrooms and bathrooms oh, and man. how many repairs <laughs> they've done. Yeah. And if they've upgraded kitchens or bathrooms or anything like that. Yeah. They have no problem telling you the condition. It's the first thing. So it opens up the conversation. And then the second one is the timeline. Well, when would you like, you know, to let you know, Miss Seller, Mrs. Seller, uh, we, we, we typically purchase these properties in two weeks to a month. Mm -hmm. Does that work for you? Are yeah. you are you good to close in the middle of whatever the month? Yeah, uh, and that'll tell you what their motivation is, which yeah. is beautiful because yeah. a lot of people protect their motivation. But if you put the timeline to them, they open up, and then all of a sudden you start learning. Oh, I've got a young child in the house that I don't want to live next to uh, a bunch of traffic. Yeah. Oh, I just got a divorce. Yeah. Now you're getting the motivation just yeah. by asking the condition and the timeline. Yeah, you know what I mean, and it yeah. sounds natural. Yeah. If you go into it and go, huh, well, this sounds like it's a nice house. Why are you selling? Mm -hmm. It's much different than unfolding it when we're doing right? Breaking down do, the layers. Do you feel that way? Yeah, you're skinning the layers back. Yep. Yeah, trying yep. to solve this problem. And then the last one is the price. Mm -hmm. So what'd she say? Uh, she really wanted 145 but we broke it down. Uh, we finally agreed to a 107 Whoa! Uh, yeah. You got her down from one forty-five. What's that? Thirty-eight thousand dollars. She reduced. Yeah. Just talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How'd you get her down? Uh, Give well, us some tips. So basically, we just kind of figured out the motivation. Uh, we wanted to sell within a, a certain time span to be able to, for her to get out. Mm -hmm. So my mentor kind of just built rapport with her. You know, I threw the assist to him. Uh, he just told me just to stay. You want to give him a shout out? What's his yeah, name? Tom Ely. Tom Ely. Yes, sir. Great job, Tom. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, All right. Sir. So he kind of just told her, like, if you really want it at this price point, we have to do it at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we really want to get it at 130, but unfortunately we can't 130, 145, but due to the area 
and the street, we can't really do it at that price point. So 107 is the best we can do. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So you got it for 107. Mm -hmm. Closing and how fast? Uh, three weeks. Okay. And when you do a joint venture, mm -hmm. do you go, are you the buyer in the contract or is Tom? Or Tom. Tom's company. Okay. Yeah, Tom's company. But then you have a, an agreement with him that's a joint venture agreement so that you guys can both uh, negotiate this deal and work on this deal and, and, and you get paid? Mm -hmm. And do you get paid through the, the closing, through the title and escrow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, unfortunately, at this one, uh, yeah. it was through his LLC, so sure. he just cut me a check at this Got point. it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then you lock this thing up, uh -huh. right? And you blast it out? Does he, uh, or you brought it right to Memphis Invest? Yeah, we brought it right. Who buys a lot of properties? A lot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And so they, what's their process? Uh, well, like I said, they assessed the property. Uh, they liked it. Uh, they can pay a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So they said the best we can do is one nineteen for this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he locked it up at one nineteen. One nineteen. So you made how much on it? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand dollars, <laughs> yeah. right? From yeah. a call off of a bandit side. Ring yeah. this thing, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I've been waiting on that. It feels good, though. <laughs> it feels good, right? Man. Because you were doing you were doing deals for three thousand, yeah. for five thousand, for under ten, right? Yeah. And then you popped one for twelve thousand. Yeah, man. How's that feel? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It's real life. Yeah. And so now all day you're doing this full time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. So you have to take action every day. I mean, and, you know, the the job that you had, I mean, just the last three years of your life have been absolutely just wildly emotional. Man, yeah. A lot of different changes. Yeah. But you're still always, you're always in the group. You're always on the phone. You're always supporting. You're always loving. You're always bringing that optimism. You're always bringing that support. Yeah. You know, you're really cheering other people on in our private group. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Where does that come from? Uh, my mom was very hands-on. She was a child care director as right. well. So I kind of got that fun spirit from her. And just God, you know, you have to be a servant-hearted man. So I want to make sure everybody else wins. I want to make sure our nation is, is stronger. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's where it comes from. Yeah. And that's how you get that. That's how you keep that positive yeah. and that you're out there. What do you think? I mean, uh, some people, they, you know, as, as people get into and discover wholesaling, they start learning that it's not about the deal. It's not about the money. It's truly about going out and solving the problems of yeah. these distressed property owners in our market. Yeah. Have you found that to be the truth? Yeah. You have, Sometimes you have to take money out the picture and you got to figure out what's the problem. Right. Why do they need to sell? Mm -hmm. And how can you solve that problem as fast as possible? Right. Yeah. 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 It doesn't feel good when you're done? Yeah. It feels oh great. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. It's just incredible. I yeah. mean, that's really the, the biggest benefit of it. And that's really what, you know, people can make money, but if you can't sleep at night, what's the point? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you're going to be more stressed. You're going to be <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Man. But yeah. it's the best sleep ever. You close this deal, and all of a sudden you're getting Christmas cards from, you know, distressed property <laughs> owners that you made like $42,000 on a yeah. deal or something. And yeah. they're so thankful that they, they, that you got them out of the situation because it is the truth. People will trade uh, equity in their property for speed and convenience. That's they true. will. They will. And and to some of the, to a lot of the people that we work with, the six to ten percent of the real estate market that's in distress, yeah. those people, uh, it doesn't always come down to the money, mm -mm. right? I mean, yeah. it's about the money, sure. But it's not. It, it, it that that is on. That's the secondary benefit of it. The, the first is get rid of this problem as soon as possible first is don't worry about a young kid running into traffic right yeah. being in a house that you're married and now you're divorced and now it feels bad being in that house yeah. all of these things are real life these happen real every life single day every day and yeah. people go well i don't know what to do you know i don't want to fix it up i don't have a lot of money to fix it up i don't necessarily want my neighbors know that i'm going to sell this property mm -hmm. i don't want it on zillow and the internet i don't want a sign in my front yard i don't want yeah. strangers coming through yeah. i don't want an inspector to come through and nitpick everything and and turn my house into a bloodbath of Man. repairs that need to be done <laughs> i just want you to give be me done. a price and be done with it yeah 
And that's the truth. That's it. So give some advice to people starting out. Give to, give some advice to people that are going after their first deal. They're starting. They've got that fire in their belly, which it's not a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Out of the whatever 350 million Americans <laughs> there are, there's a small amount of people that want to be real estate investors, even sure. smaller that want to be wholesalers. Sure. So we're speaking to our crazy people out okay. there that are listening, okay. that are inspired, that have that fire in their belly to succeed in this business. What advice would you give them? So I basically just say, learn your market. So learning your market, I would say driving for dollars. Yeah. So utilize Deal Machine app. And if you don't have that, just write the property value, the property address down and just take action. Look up the property assessor and just take action every day. Just try to find as many properties as you can. 200 a week is the goal. Mm -hmm. Stick to a goal, stick to a plan, take action. In 30 days, 90 days, you'll have a deal. Yeah. Just got to gotta push forward. Got to stay consistent. Yeah. And you have to pick up the phone. That's the it starts with the conversation. Yeah. I don't care if it is you're waiting for referrals to come into you or you're buying those leads for marketing or you're going to go out and earn it by yeah. being proactive. You have to have the conversation. We yeah. talked about this today. Yeah. We talked about that our ability to speak and uh, to talk and communicate effectively with people is the single greatest skill we yeah. have for making money in this yeah. business. It absolutely is. Yeah. So why wouldn't we, if we don't have a lot of experience in it, if we've never done it before, if we haven't talked to people about real estate before, why wouldn't you want to get there as fast as possible? Yeah. Just start having as many conversations, conversations. as you possibly can. Yeah, I'm sure man. the first time that you did, you felt a little bit off, and then you felt a little bit off, and then you felt a little bit better, and then it starts to build up. Yeah. Now, you don't have a problem talking to people about At real all. estate. At You've all. been talking to my team all day about real all estate. All day. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. I love it. Yeah. You always learn. You yeah. Know? So, it yeah. helps. It helps awesome. every day. Thank, Thank you for you so being much. out here. Yes, what sir, an inspiration. A what, is, what a story. A Anybody place. in Memphis, how do they how do they reach out to you? How do they get a hold of you? How sure. do they just tell you and send you love? Uh, you can reach me on Facebook, Blair Bass, or you can hit me up on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, at DJ Black Card is my DJ handle, or my business is... Black Card or Heart? Card. C-A-R-D. Yeah. Or my business, we just started a business page, Intrepid Investments, I-N-T-R-E-P underscore investments. Love it. Yes, Love sir. it. Guys, reach out to them. I don't care where you're at. If you are inspired, if you if you're, if you you hear this story and you are encouraged, please reach out to Blair, especially if you're in the Memphis market. Definitely squat up with him there. Yeah. He is an unbelievable resource and a huge heart, and he really is uh, somebody that you need in your corner if you are dealing with any kind of of pessimism or you're feeling kind of negative or you're feeling unsure this is the guy that you want in your life to help boost you and be around because it yeah. is truly the people that we spend the most time with that yeah. we become and i and, and i've seen that time and time and time again it's a pleasure to be able to spend yes, time sir. with you and have great. you around and have you in our community i mean you're just uh, absolutely uh, phenomenal and everybody loves you so yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's incredible <laughs> and it, hey listen if you're interested in joining the most proactive group in real estate investing it is the ttp family yes, go to wholesalinginc.com yes, forward slash ttp that's wholesalinginc.com forward slash ttp check it out scroll down if it feels good in your gut sign up for a call i look forward to working with you personally blair Yes, so sir. good to have you it's in pleasure, Phoenix. Man. Thank you. Man. Oh man, Thank such you. an incredible blessing. time. Yes, uh, and um, until next time, guys, go out there. I always encourage you to talk to people. Till next time, love you. See ya. Yes,